Here we go again. It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News, and we just had our 10th homicide of the year yesterday on Monday around 5 p.m. on the 800 block of Cosby Street. According to police, 16-year-old Kevin Jackson was shot and killed in that area on Cosby Street. Now, people believe that it was a black male wearing dreads that shot him, and the suspect may have fled in a black pickup truck. Uh, there's no other information known about this but also what I want to say about this well my information that I've got you know like I always said I always look up on Facebook and see who always saying RIP rest in peace and I end up finding this guy's name Kevin Jackson the 16 year old boy that got killed and it looks like to me that he actually knew Javante Reed. Javante Reed was the guy that got killed on December the 11th in Carver Village. Uh, Kevin Jackson, uh, Crosby Street is in Carver Village, just in case if you didn't know. Actually, the 16-year-old that got killed yesterday actually got killed a block away from where Javante Reed got killed from. So, call it a coincidence. Uh, you can, I mean... I'm not so sure if this is like any type of retaliation or a type of get back just for associating with Reed. I'm not so sure about that. Uh, you know, when I talked about the homicide about Reed, you know that I talked about the, the GDs that killed Javante Reed. I believe the GD that killed him was Craig Weston. So could it possibly be another GD that killed this 16 year old man? I'm not so sure. I was really looking up the 16 year olds Facebook page and see if I could find like any information whether if he was in a gang or or not and I was looking at the pictures and I don't know if he was like really directly in a gang but it looked like he was throwing up the west side a lot and you know I, I'm just not, I'm not so sure I don't want to speculate too heavy on that because I was doing a lot of research yesterday and I really couldn't find the answers that I wanted but looking at the pictures I mean, it looked like he was with some business that was probably that he shouldn't have been involved in, you know, and I'm not going to speak too much about that, but you, know, you can just look at it from your own eyes and from your own point of view. But, you know, this is the 10th homicide of the year, but shootings have been cracking a lot lately. This is what the sixth shooting or there has been six shootings within the past two days you know you know the one that I talked about yesterday the East 34th Street shooting that took the life of Chandra Thomas uh, there was another one that I talked about briefly in my last video uh, that I talked about the 41 year old that shot a four year old in the hand there was another shooting on Sunday on Congress Street at 2 15 in the morning where they found a victim from non-life threatening injuries and shootings that happened from yesterday was a shooting that happened around 9 p.m. in the area of Bay and Graham Streets where two people were found shot while in a car uh, their injuries were still unknown that's still unknown at this time and also there was another shooting that took place on the less ups around that quick stop convenience store where somebody ran inside the convenience store asking for help because they was shot they wasn't shot inside the store but they ran inside the store to ask for help and just to double back on the tiff homicide of the man by the name of Kevin Jackson uh, he was the second juvenile to be shot and killed in Savannah this year the first one was the guy that went to Savannah High School by the name of Tristan Gray this tenth homicide the victim he actually went to Groves High School Groves High School is in Garden City but all I just want to say about this one is you know shootings have been on the increase a lot lately you know a lot of shootings have been happening in the past two days you know not even just two days there's been a lot of shootings in the past few weeks so if you are in areas like this also I'll put a link in the description because what I do when I research a lot of uh, shootings and homicides I use an interactive crime map and it's pretty useful. It's usually up to date. Uh, I'll put that link in the in in the description, just in case if people want to know 
you know their areas and their surroundings and how safe it is I'll put that link in the description it's very useful information just in case if you want it but just to talk about the homicides and the shootings that's just been happening uh, it's, it's very sick man um, you know like I said I don't know the extent of people's beefs out there and to be quite honest with you I don't care about other people's disagreements and beefs in the street you know it just becomes my business when it turns into a shooting or a homicide because I have to do a justice for the city and let people know that's in the city or willing to come to the city of the current situation that's going on no, nobody snitching. It's called Savannah Seaport News for a reason. If something comes out and it's recent, that's called news. You know, I have to talk about it. But, you know, you let other people get online and say things about me like I'm a bitch or whatever. I'm like, okay, you know, you had the option not to watch my video. <laughs> but, you know, it's whatever. You know, it's all good to me because at the end of the day, you know, I'm not, my videos don't kill people. Uh, I don't, I never killed anybody. But, you know, people out here are willing, are really out here saying, you know, free murderers, you know, free the guy that just shot somebody face off. You know, it's getting quite fucking ridiculous out here, man. Um, you know, you can't really compromise with these guys at all. But hopefully this year we'll see less than 51 homicides. Hopefully we'll see less than 50 homicides this year. But as of right now, I mean, we're at 10 homicides. That's literally just about three homicides a month so uh, we might go over it we might go under it but I just really hope that no more killings happen even though it's March and you can kind of expect more shootings and and murders will happen unfortunately I hate to say it that way but it's just something to think about you know you got to really think about where you at your surroundings your people your affiliations people who you affiliate with things that you've done to people like you don't want to be out here and somebody has it out for you. You know, like I said in, in another video, there's a nine times out of ten chance that the shooter knew the victim in every situation. Every situation. But that's all for right now. It's Pac-Man Jones with Savannah Seaport News and I'm out.